In this video, I'm going to teach you how to turn your logo into a vector in Canva. So let's get started. To start with this, we have two options. You can upload directly in here your logo or you can create one in Canva. And to do this, we're just going to go to create a design. And on here, we're just going to choose the option of logo. Once we are here, you can also upload your logo in the upload section and then just add it to the logo format. Once we have our logo loaded in Canva, what we have to do is we have to click in the logo and then we gotta go to edit photo. It's pretty important that if your logo is in color format, we turn it into black and white. And to do this, first of all, we have to go and remove the background because mine is a logo image you can click in this option otherwise you can go to google and you search for background remover this one in here also will do the job so i'm just gonna wait now that i already removed the background of my logo what i'm gonna do is i'm going to change the colors and to do this i'm gonna go to the same option edit photo and on here i'm just gonna click in u-tone on here i'm just gonna select the first option and I'm going to turn the white into black too. Once we already delete the background and we also turn our logo into a black format, what we have to do is we have to download it. And to do this, we're just going to go to the share square here in the corner. We're going to click on it and then we're going to click in download. On here, I recommend you to keep it in this format. So it's easy for the tool that we're going to use to create our vector. So I'm just going to click in download. Once we already have our logo download, what we have to do is we have to go to Google and we have to search for vector magic. This one on here. And we're going to click in the first option on here. On here, it tells you to drag the image or you can upload your image. So I'm just going to do that. I have my logo on here, so I'm just going to open it. And we're going to wait a few seconds till these two start to convert our logo into the vector. Now on here, this page is going to give you the final result. As you can see here, this is the original image. And now this is the vectorized result. So we can see it changed a lot. So the only thing that is remaining for us to do is to download the results. So we're just going to click on there and then you can choose between all these uh, formats so SVG or PDF and you can download on, on all of this. And that's it. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content.